Guys, it's me, Oliver D. Geronimo, and today I am in the usual Virginia late spring or late winter, early spring weather. Crappy, rainy, mildly cold. And although today isn't the kind of day that I like to be running a chainsaw, I do want to show, and my shop is very messy, sorry, because, you know, I've been doing a lot of work cutting up all the wood from the big bunch of oak and hickory trees that we've cut down recently. So, you know, I've been using my vintage saws a lot, and I don't really store my vintage saws with gas and oil because they do leak. But enough about me. Uh, on to the topic of the video. Will my camera focus? So, the topic of today's video is just going to be checking out this new steel cant hook that I got. This is the, I believe, yeah, this is what I believe is, yep, it's the 48 inch version, or 4 feet, if you don't know inches, because you're, you know, not no inches. So, um, I'm just going to take it outside and get my camera set up on a tripod, and let's see how this bad boy does moving around some giant 100 pound oak rounds. This will also be nice for rolling logs over so that I don't cut into the ground. So, uh, yeah, without further ado, let's go check it out. So the log jam that I'm trying to clean up today is this log is stuck on this log, which is held up by this log. So I'm going to take the hook. The way this hook works is you take it, you push it into the log. While you push it into the log, this little metal hook on the back engages. And then there's a little spur on the front which allows you to do stuff like, oh, yeah. So it's mainly for moving stuff. So just like I'll demonstrate here, this hickory is really heavy and hard to move. So I'm just gonna stick the camp hook into it backwards like this. And then I'm gonna pull back. And just like that, with minimal effort, using leverage, this big hickory is now free. And it's not long, so that way I can take it now and I can also stick it into this oak backwards or forwards. So I can take it, stick it into the oak. I'm going to stick the hook in first so that engages. And look, I can roll it up just like that. So it rolls up just like you can see there. And if I take it back a little bit, it also and roll it back. So there is more proper ways to do this, like standing on the log and then falling back a little bit. But because this is a massive log, this could probably do some serious damage if it crushed me. So, boom. Oh shoot, it's going right for the camera. Um, so just like that, as y'all can see, it does a pretty nice job of rolling over logs. Like, uh, Let's say if I want to get this one right here, I can just roll it like that. It is kind of a big hook, so it might not be as useful for smaller logs. However, I did buy a Fizker's hookeroon zappy thing, which I'll be making another video about. But uh, if y'all found this quick little review video tutorial useful, um, subscribe to my channel because this is what I do. I make gaming videos and videos about steel and other tools so if y'all like this enjoy the video share it with the boys like it comment what you think subscribe and hit that bell notification so hard it feels like it's been struck by a mallet and as always this is already geronimo signing out please do all the stuff that i said before and as always be safe out there y'all peace